When do you think yeah. the singularity is coming? Uh, Ray Kurzweil says 2045. So I'll, 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 I'll stick with that. He's it's 26 he's, he, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be sooner. Could be later. Could be 2030. Could be 2070. I don't think it's 2200. I don't think it's 2020. It won't be 2030. It's too soon. Right? I don't know, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess when it starts to happen, it happens real fast. Well, that's sort of the point, right? right. Like if you let, so suppose that as a thought experiment, like. Suppose in 2025, Google DeepMind or my own AI team in SingularityNet and OpenCog, like suppose by 2025, one of us manages to create an AI that is essentially as, as smart as a, as a human being, right? So it can hold a conversation like a human being and it can prove math theorems like a human mathematician. It can analyze a biology data set, right? So we yeah. So and and a bit and, like your robot, Sophia. And you, you put it in a ro in a robot body. I mean, that's a separate problem. You, you, it could operate many robot bodies all at once, right? But unlike Sophia, right now, it can really understand what it's seeing and, and what it's doing fully at the level of a human can. So suppose you get there, like how far are you from a true singularity? Because this AI can then copy itself. You and can make a million of those, and right? Improve and improve itself. Yeah, yeah, right. Because you can, once AI is as smart as a human, okay, let's teach it computer science. I mean, we can send it to school. It can learn math. It can learn programming. It can learn hardware engineering. And then it can, you can copy a million of those, right? So all million of those, maybe half of those are working on improving its own intelligence, but, but they're not working in isolation like humans are. They can share thoughts directly because they're all just running in, in the compute cloud, right? So it seems very plausible within a few years of getting to that human level AI, it's going to invent all manner of amazing new things. I mean, it doesn't mean it'll be instantaneous. I mean, doing lab research still takes time. Building new hardware still takes time. But of course, it can be working on how to speed that up, right? Like right. How, to, how to more fully automate manufacturing and laboratory research. So yeah. And then it could take us out of the process as well, possibly. It, it, could. it could. I mean, it, that depends on the value system that the, that right. the, the AGI has, right? And I mean, this is, this is why it's important to, you know, give values of kindness, compassion, tolerance, inclusiveness, love for all sentient beings. We want to get these positive values into the AI as, as, as much as we can. And we think we can program that into AI. I think you teach it. You teach it. You program it with the ability to learn that. But then I mean, won't it unlearn that if it doesn't suit it? Or that's what we don't know? I mean, it's very subtle because human values are a moving target, right? Like the values of suburban New Jersey in 1975 when I was in elementary school are not the same as the values in suburban New Jersey in the U.S. right now. Like, I mean, back then, gay marriage was illegal and, and violently opposed by, by almost everybody, right? And racism was very rampant there. So, I mean, human values have, they're evolving all the time. By the values of medieval Europe, you and I and probably almost everyone listening to us deserve to burn in hell forever, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you don't, if, if you gave the AI exact human values from 2019, then by 2050, it's going to be horrible. It'd be like having a dictator with the values of 1950 America or something, right? Right. So, so you want an AI that will have evolving values in a way that somehow respects the ongoing evolution of human values. And that hopefully still respects it and doesn't just make its own Yeah, yeah, which is, which, is, which is very subtle, right? So yeah. some of my friends who are vegans and animal rights activists are like, well, what if the, what if the AI treats us the way we treat less intelligent animals? <laughs> and, and you think about Possible. it, like, we care about extinction of species, though. I mean, not as much as we should, but in general, we don't want to extinct entire species of subhuman animals, but we don't care much about one cow, sheep, pig, or wolf, more or less, right? We care about like the, the genome, right? So yeah. if you took that analogy, the AI, it would like to keep humans around, because I mean, we're, we're the creators, we're the ancestors, we have our own unique aesthetic value. But by that analogy, it may not give a crap about one 
human, more or less, any more than we care about one wolf or pig, more or less. Yeah. Right? So, so we, we, we didn't keep the Neanderthals around. No, but we weren't as reflectively intelligent True. then as, as we are now. And I think that there is an argument that as human cultures advance more and more toward abundance and away from scarcity, there's more caring about the environment. There's, there's, there's more compassion toward, toward non-human animals. I mean, there was a lot in Stone Age society, and it sort of went down in the Industrial Revolution. And now, now it, it's, it's certainly going up again. But I guess the point is, we want our AIs not only to be super intelligent, we want them to be super compassionate. Like, we want them to be more compassionate to us we than are. we are to each other. Because right. well, we're killing each other. Humans are killing each other for no good reason all the time, right? So we, we want them to be morally better than us in, 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 in some sense, right? And we we're hope not, they are. Yeah, we we're, not set, are. we're not... On the whole, we're not setting the best example in terms of the way human society is being regulated right now, nor the way we treat non-human life forms on, on the planet, nor the applications that we're deploying AI toward. Like, what are all the AI PhDs 